Well, the FA have decided to come out today and uh, issue a fine to Isaac Hayden for comments he made in the aftermath of the Chelsea game. Uh, we've got a few uh, transfer rumours to have a look at. And could our old mucker, Alan Pardew, be going back into management? Let's have a look. Hi everybody, I'm Paul back again and uh, today's daily news video is basically um, highlighted by the uh, the fine that Isaac Hayden has received uh, after the comments he made regarding Chelsea's 12th man. Um, of course, referring to referee Mr. Coote uh, after the defeat at Stamford Bridge when he said some performance uh, from the 12 men today. Uh, he's been given a £19,000 fine and a warning regarding his future conduct. Um... For me, I think that's a bit bizarre. It really is. It's a bit crazy. Um, I don't really agree with it at all. I think Isaac Hayden is very, very unlucky to get the fine, if you ask me. Um, you know, it, it's all right for people to, 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 to comment and, and things like that on, um, you know, stuff after the game, various footballers and things like that. But this, this again, boils down to uh, referees having to be accountable for the stuff they decide on the pitch. You know, it's all right for the, the, you know, the players can come out and say that and then get fined. But the referees don't seem to be very accountable for any mistakes they make, which which for me is is mental. I mean, you've got managers having to come out straight after games and, uh, you know, get questions about the team, get questions about their decisions throughout the game. The whole thing stinks, to be honest. And, uh, you know, £19,000 fine, I mean, yeah, it's, it's probably nothing to Isaac Hayden given the, the money the footballers earn. But still, you know, it's 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 not really right, is it, um, that he's been given a fine like that. But hey-ho, that's as it is. Uh, so he's got to warn about his future conduct as well. Um, I think it stinks to high heaven that he's been given a fine. But, you know, these days you just can't make it, you can't say anything regarding the referee they are so unaccountable for their decisions on the pitch that you just cannot cannot talk about them um now onto a couple of transfer rumors um portuguese outlet uh ebola have uh, said that newcastle are interested in porto uh forward um atavio now atavio is a very very decent player i've seen him a few times um very very quick very good player um, but he's got. A, he's also got um, a fifty million pound release clause. Now he's twenty seven year old, so he's probably in his prime right now. Um, so would now be a good time to go and get him? I'd probably say yes, it would. Um, but are Newcastle United willing to pay the fifty million pound release clause for him? Uh, listen, if they're willing to pay twenty five million pound release clause for Chris Wood, then uh, I'd snap the hands off for a Tavio to be honest, who's uh, an extra twenty five million quid. Um, but my God, he brings a hell of a lot more. So, um, you know, rumours are that we, we're not going to be spending much in the transfer window on, on fees. Uh, so could we be looking at free transfers? Uh, you know, check out our free transfer show that we did uh, last night. Um, we went through a few names and we've got more to come on that as well. So um, because there is a lot of free transfers in the summer, more than what there has been for a very, very long time, in all honesty. Uh, and that would be very interesting to see what happens with that. Um, so there's one um, who could set us back 50 million quid if we were to activate the release clause. Um, now, I'm sure other clubs are interested in it as well. So again, it's how we sell Newcastle United to these people. Uh, now, Daily Mail are also reporting that Newcastle are wanting uh, Watford's uh, Ismail uh, Saar uh, in the summer. Now, he will set us back around 24 million quid, which I think is a quite a bargain to be honest I mean Saar is a very very good player but listen Watford could be heading into the championship Saar isn't going to want to play in the championship at all uh his level is 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 quite honestly way better than that so uh he'd certainly be someone that would be looking to move away from Watford uh and Newcastle United could be a perfect destination for him uh I'd snap the hands off for 24 million quid as well um now whether that is the real price uh who knows I mean the, the Daily Mail have have said 24 million pound but it, it could be anything uh but like I say, bonuses, add-ons, whatever you want to give him. Uh, so 
good that we're interested in him. Uh, but you know what it is? This is the start. You know, we've we've got like nine games left in the Premier League. This is the start of all the players being rumoured to be coming to the club. And it's it's not going to end. It's going to continue and continue and continue. So we, we know that. Um, but again, you know, Saar would be a quality player for us. Uh, now, Emil Kraft has admitted um, that he has no idea what his future holds after this summer. Uh, no contract talks have taken place with Newcastle United, so he's very unsure of where he's going to be next season. Um, now, for me, uh, we are going to improve all aspects of the squad next uh, in the summer. Um, now, does that leave room for Emil Kraft when you look at who we've already got? You know, Kieran Trippi is there. Javi Mankio, for me, is the better player than Emil Kraft. So, for me, he's third choice at least at the minute. Um, and that's not counting who whoever we might bring in in the summer. So, um, I think Emil Kraft will be better moving on. Uh, if I'm openly honest, I think he should move on. Uh, look for pastures new and see what he can do uh, at another club. Uh, but I'd wish him all the best. You know, he's been a decent servant for Newcastle. Uh, you know, he hasn't been the best player in the world. But listen, he's, he's stepped in in the last few games and he's done a decent job. You can't uh, you can't argue with that. But is he our future going forward? Absolutely not. So um, it would be interesting to see. Uh, now, the referee has been announced uh, for Sunday's game at Tottenham Hotspur, uh, which, of course, will be uh, live commentary here on the Toon Review YouTube channel. Um, I know it's on Sky, but you can knock the commentary off and listen to me. That would be a good idea. Um, Martin Atkinson is the referee. Now, um, he's another one, isn't he, that you just don't know which Martin Atkinson is going to turn up. Uh, is he going to want the limelight or is he going to want, you know, just to referee the game and, and, and let it go? Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not I'm not keen on Martin Atkinson, I have to say. Um, and finally... Um, like I said in the intro there, our old mucker, our old manager, Alan Pardew, could well be in line for a return to management uh, with AFC Wimbledon. Uh, now, for me, I think, you know, if, if Wimbledon managed to persuade Alan Pardew to go there, um, I think that's a good appointment. I think Alan Pardew's got a lot of experience, um, lower levels, Premier League levels, wherever it may be. I think he's got excellent, uh, you know, experience. And I think he'd do a fantastic job for, for Wimbledon. I really do. Uh, so best of luck if he does take the job. Uh, it'll be very uh, interesting to see how he does, uh, whether he can uh, lift Wimbledon to the high heights that they've been in the past, uh, whether he can do that or not. I think budget would have something to do with that. But listen, Mark Hughes has gone in at Bradford. Suddenly these decent names are going in at smaller teams and um, trying to get them back to past glories, which would be very interesting. So uh, good luck to him. Uh, I really do. Uh, mean that if he goes there i hope he does well uh but listen that's the video today for the daily news if you are watching this on uh, on the tuesday of course do tune in tonight at 8 30 where we have the fan forum live again so we'll be getting the fans view on everything newcastle united uh if you have enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up for me please and if you are new to the channel and you like what you see uh, do consider subscribing uh very very close to 10,000 now which is an incredible achievement for the channel uh i keep saying it but it is it really is um when I started this, never thought it would get near 10,000. But uh, listen, it's all down to you guys out there. Um, and you can become a member of the Toon Review. Remember, if you hit the join button uh, underneath the video or just click the link in the description. And once again, a massive shout out to Geordie Riffs, uh, premium guitar services based here in the good old northeast of England. Uh, they're offering 10% at the minute on your first setup, 10% on your first repair. Uh, they do have uh, a recording studio as well, if you fancy giving that a go. And uh, also, your first guitar lesson completely free of charge uh, if you mention the tune review. So thank you to Graham and Natalie again for their continued support. You can find them at geordieriffs.co.uk, uh, geordieriffs on Instagram, and Geordie Riffs Official on Facebook. Uh, but thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Uh, have a great day. Keep smiling and be kind. Take care. <laughs>